Hey there, how's it going? Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here with the Lenovo Fab 2 Pro. Why do they call it the Fab? Well, it could be because it's a fabulous device. We'll let you be the judge of that shortly. Uh, but it's also a very large device, a 6.4 inch QHD display, bodaciously large actually, and they spell Fab with a PH, which stands for Fablet, and it is truly the combination embodiment of a phone tablet hybrid device. It is also the embodiment of the latest Google Tango technology, the first smartphone in the market to support Google Tango AR augmented reality technology. So we're going to kick the tires on this bad boy and check it out. What do you say? All right, so again, I have large hands, but this is definitely a large device, a 6.4 inch assertive IPS display, assertive Qualcomm's fancy terminology for uh, light adaptive, um, ambient light adaptive display technology, and uh, 2560 by 1440 QHD resolution, a big, beautiful, bright display actually, not quite the punch of OLED, but pretty darn close and looks super tight and crisp with that high resolution and high pixel density. Um, walking around the device, you see we've got a standard setup of bezel here in the front. You've got your app tray, you've got your home button, and you've got a back button all on the front bezel as well as earpiece and front facing camera. And on bottom you can see there's dual stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos sound and a standard micro USB port and a couple of Torx screws. Incidentally, this phone is put together very well. It's very solid in the hand. Really nice design with slightly chamfered metal edges, brushed aluminum finish, and just really feels great. Um, back is sort of, again, a brushed aluminum finish and slightly rounded so it cradles well in the hand. On the right edge, there's the volume rocker and power button. While on top, you've got the headphone jack. On the left edge is a standard combo micro SIM and SD card tray. But on back is where all the Tango mojo happens. Up top here, you've got a standard 16 megapixel RGB camera, a depth sensor IR camera, and a motion sensor fisheye camera right there, as well as a fingerprint sensor. Along with the processor, accelerometer, and gyroscope on the phone, this camera array allows all the Tango magic to happen with motion tracking, area learning, and depth perception. The Lenovo Fab 2 Pro is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 652 processor with Adreno 510 graphics, backed up by four gigabytes of RAM, and it is running Android 6.0.1, otherwise known as Marshmallow. And with the Fab 2 Pro in its rather large box, you get a standard assortment of included accessories, including a lit pack and SIM extractor tool, as well as these handy dandy JBL earbuds. They actually sound pretty good for an included pair of earbuds. Uh, and of course the AC adapter, which is a little bit large for a smartphone adapter, but gets the job done. And incidentally, the phone does support Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 technology. Now, to give you a sense of scale and to sort of explain the feat of engineering, mechanical engineering mostly, that Lenovo had to undergo to get Tango technology inside of a mostly smartphone-sized device, here is the original Google Project Tango tablet next to the Fab 2 Pro. And as you can see, it's considerably larger, thicker device and um, larger in both width and height and absolutely a different class of machine. This is powered by an NVIDIA Tegra processor and obviously the Fab 2 Pro powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 652 chip. Tango technology is new and still in development with Google and its ecosystem partners like Lenovo, but it's showing real promise with augmented reality as both a powerful tool and of course an entertainment medium. There are currently only 30 Tango apps on the Google Play Store, but that number is growing as developers make use of the technology in new and innovative ways. Though you can perform simple operations like measuring objects with the Google Measure app, for example, Lowe's Vision app is a good example of being able to mix your home environment with an AR shopping experience, trying out sizes, colors, and patterns that otherwise you would have to lug home for items like furniture to truly experience where you intend to use them.
But right now, as you can imagine, most of the apps are of the fun and game or educational variety like American Museum of National History's Dinosaurs Among Us, which not only lets you learn about different dino species, but also lets you place a few of them in the environment with you. It's a pretty fun and educational app, especially for kids, and you can move around these prehistoric creatures as if they were standing right in front of you. Look at poor Yogi here, fast asleep. He has no idea he's chilling in his Jack Russell bed with a cute little velociraptor and a flappy little Archaeopteryx. Ah, but maybe it's better to train dinosaurs outside. And again, with area learning, the app will place the creatures on a proper surface with the correct orientation from where you're standing. The dogs keep wondering what's up, if they only knew. Oh, and then there's the Hollow app, which lets you place holograms into pictures and videos you shoot with the rear camera. Goofy gorilla on the office desk, anybody? Yeah, but that's just a quick taste of the sorts of things you can do with Project Tango and the Lenovo Fab 2 Pro. Now, in terms of gaming and general performance with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 652 on board, the Lenovo Fab 2 Pro, you're getting a mid-range processor here, to be honest. It is not quite the performance throughput of, say, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 or 821, but as you can see here, we're running 3D Mark Firestrike, no problem, uh, very fluid and fast, actually. Um, and it also handles the performance requirements of Tango AR processing as well, with all the cameras and motion sensing and positioning and all that good stuff that's required for augmented reality. So the processor is definitely up to the task of the workload, the general workload of the device here, but the graphics and general performance is not quite to the level of, say, a high-end flagship uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 820-powered device in the market these days. But again, pretty good, not too bad, and as you can see right here, looking great in this benchmark 3D Mark Firestrike. Mid-range performance, though, from a graphics standpoint. From a battery life standpoint, we're still looking at that. 4,050 milliamp hour battery on board the Lenovo Fab 2 Pro. We expect it to perform pretty well, again, because that processor is a little bit more mid-range, definitely more power efficient. And although it has a large display, that is a very large 4,050 milliamp hour battery. We're gonna step through battery life, testing a little bit more in the weeks ahead, so make sure you stop by hothardware.com for our full review. I'm Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware with the Lenovo Fab 2 Pro Project Tango enabled Fablet. Thanks for stopping by.